So a lot of my friends have asked me what it is I do as far as x-raying. And this is pretty exciting because um, I'm at a point where I can show you what it is I do and what we're looking for. So this is what we call the small x-ray room. There's like three different x-ray rooms, but the one I spend most of my time in is about the size of a jail cell. Camera can't figure out how to autofocus. And we have this here x-ray machine, pretty neat. So what I'm gonna do is this is a, a Bendex part. And I'll go ahead and cue this up. It's kind of hard to tell when I record it. But I can look at this part. I'm looking for any abnormalities, specifically looking for what they call porosity, which is oxygen in the metal. And it doesn't look like this piece has any. And normally I wouldn't necessarily be spending a lot of time on this piece, but I'd also be using both hands. I wouldn't have one hand on the camera. This is a good piece. Hooray for it. And by uh, strategic sampling, if there's an issue with any of the pieces, then I can make a note of it. This is another piece. I'm specifically choosing it because it is a prime example of porosity. So I'm just going to cue this pupper up here. See all those little holes in the metal? That is air in the metal. We don't like to see that. Um, and some pieces are a little more tolerant of how much porosity can be there than another. But this much and pretty much any piece is unheard of. This is pretty ridiculous. That questions the integrity of that metal. And so I let the foreman know, hey, something's wrong with this, something's got to give. And then he'll make the decision what he's going to do with that. I log all of those in this computer here. Bada bing, bada boom. Keep on fun that about every hour and a half to two hours. And that is me working the x-ray in a nutshell. Nothing super fancy. It's definitely literally repetitive. You've got to be focused on detail. And you have to know the parts you're working with. Still, it's kind of rewarding to know that because I'm paying attention, a part like that isn't going to go out to the customer and into whatever it is they're making, be it a large rig or some safety equipment or something like that.